England Women's European Championship dreams ended in tears on Thursday night as they were crushed by hosts Holland in a shock semi-final mauling in and sheet. The Lionesses were comfortably second best here and fell victim to goals from Vivian Miedema and Danielle van de Donk before Millie Bright put through her own net to emphasize the golf in class. Manager Mark Sampson, sporting red eyes himself, revealed every member of his squad had shed tears after losing out in a tournament the Lionesses knew they should have won. England were the top-ranked team left in this Euros after quarter-final exits for France and Germany put a huge chance for the nation's first senior silverware since 1966 is now in the bin. There are 24 devastated women left in our dressing room, Sampson said. We shed a load of tears along with the staff but I'm incredibly proud of the team. A game like tonight is a real bitter pill to swallow because the players have given so much. I know firsthand how hard they've worked, what commitment they've made, what sacrifices they've made to try and help this team do something special. But tonight wasn't our night. An error from Farah Williams, the Lionesses record cap holder, on her 165th and likely last appearance for England, set up Holland's second on a harrowing night for Sampson and his team. The Welshman had trusted the 33-year-old to replace the suspended Jill Scott. But his team were simply overwhelmed in midfield and lacked energy through the middle. They conceded to a typical Dutch cross and header in the first half and then chased the game, only to be opened up by the hosts. The Lionesses flew out of the blocks, as they often have at this tournament. But their early spark didn't flicker long. Jordan Navas up and under from the right somehow found star striker Jody Taylor unmarked. Peeling off the back of Stephanie van der Graat, her first touch though, was heavy as the ball fell and it bobbled through to the goalkeeper. Nobbs and Fran Kirby were struggling for space as England tried to retain control but 15 minutes and they were already beginning to lose out regularly in the center of the park and from there, Holland could hurt them out wide. On 22 minutes, Jackie Gronin broke away out on the right and her first time cross was too quick for Demi Stokes to cover. From there, Midema was in her element, she dropped away off a floundering staff Houghton and sent a pinpoint header back across goal with Siobhan Chamberlain rooted. It was a deserved lead, but England fought back fast having fallen behind for the first time at this tournament. The confidence from wins over France, Portugal, Spain and Scotland seemed to flow again. First, two minutes later, a typical Lucy Bronze surge forward handed Kirby a chance inside the area but her rising shot under pressure was wayward. Then, goalkeeper Sari Van Veen and Alz Woodwork came to the rescue for the hosts when Jade Moore's header at a corner was spooned off the line by Dutch skipper Cherie de Spitzi. Taylor had some hopeful penalty protests denied. By now though, Holland were getting room to hit them on the counter. Chamberlain saved smartly from Shanice Van de Sanden when England lost the ball while looking forward too fast. It was a warning shot. The Lionesses were trying to take risks, then a big one went wrong. Williams, on her 165th cap, headed back towards goal but her ball was wayward and weak. Arsenal midfielder Van de Dong carried away behind Bright to beat Chamberlain and tip into the unguarded net for 2-0. Taylor had a chance to grab one back but fired straight at Van Veen and Dahl, white at similar. Bronze's strong shout for a penalty was denied. It wasn't to be England's night. And to seal the misery, Holland staged a 23-woman pitch invasion when Bright deflected leak. Martin's stoppage time shot past her own keeper. It might be the end of an era for some of these players.
including 33-year-old Lionesses legend Williams. The younger members of the squad are already looking to the future. We have put so much hard work in but fall short, striker Kirby said. Afterwards, in the team huddle, we said let's go and win the World Cup in France. England must find a way to get past the semi-finals. Their final destination in the last two major tournaments, to manage that. They fell well short here, 